Hi, this is Kelly Nightlinger, and I wanted to show you a brief introduction to my very mobile, very micro home. So I'm living in the space of the bed of my truck, and above me is a $75 topper. So every day I camp in a different locale, and here is the Chilkat Mountains in the background, and over here is a little bit of Juno. And over here is the Mendenhall Glacier. And so I thought I'd show you around my home. So it's kind of humble and it still has a lot of work to do. I'm always constantly changing things and reorganizing everything and planning, you know, different ways to make things work. So the first thing I did was build a small platform, which I just placed on it recycled carpet. And the platform is also made from recycled materials. So it cost me zero. And on top of that, I just put a used Thermarest that I got at Goodwill for like 12 bucks. And then I have my sleeping bag that I've had for a long time. So that's what I have here. My sleeping bag, you can see the carpet. So let me show you a little bit more. So I have a magazine I'm reading. Here's how I've been charging my phone when I'm here, um, I charge this periodically. It plugs in to a regular outlet. I've got my knife, I've got my 44, I've got my library, some Alaska wildflower magazines and books on wolves and other wildlife topics. I have my uh, lamp oil lamp that I use to read by and my little Bic lighter. I've got this attached to the um, surrounding area that I have the frame for my my clothing uh, baskets and then I've got some bug repellent and a little thing to cover my eyes if need be a little extra water for when I sleep because I get a little thirsty up here I've got my Cabela's outdoor gear waterproof bag um, inside of it I have some clothing and I've also got some of my clothing in these um, it's actually just a laundry hamper type thing with three bins and I place some of my clothes in there. I've got some other clothes along here. I've got a backpack that I use when I go day hiking and it's also got a couple of my vests and coats in it. Some of my brassieres and, and underwear are in here. For right now I didn't know what to do with all my books so this is my library. It's kind of haphazard. This is just a little wood box I made last year. And inside of it, I have my rubber boots. I live in the largest temperate rainforest in the world. Got some other boots, some cleaning supplies, my snorkel, um, some toilet paper, chamber pot, and also a um, chemical dehydrator. And then I just have my flip flops for in case I need to use the facilities in the middle of the night. And a little prop to open the back of my topper because the little hydraulic lifts don't work anymore. It's only cost me 75 bucks. These are some herbs that I'm drying right here. And that's pretty much it. So welcome to my humble home. And what I've learned is that, you know, I'm houseless, but I'm not homeless because Alaska is my home. And every day I'm mobile and I can go to different locations. Usually when it's really nice like this, I camp out. But today I've been busy doing other things and I want to get a good night's sleep because tomorrow's my first whale watching and glacier hiking tour guide responsibilities and I'm also taking folks up to the mountains. And so right now I'm kind of camped in a spot that's not really my favorite as far as it's really close to a roadway and it's a beautiful day here. It was almost 70 today so we have a lot of traffic still even though it's a Sunday. But what is a cool thing is I get to watch the sunsets. And depending on where I'm at, the sun rises and I can move to different locations all over southeast Alaska when available. And if I have to work the next day, I can just camp down the road from work 5-10 miles and get a nice fresh start in the morning. So good night and I hope you have sweet dreams.